Hello, happy Friday. Welcome back to BCBR. We got a controversial brew here today. Is this Donald Trump conservative dad's revenge 100% American beer? I did a short on this one a couple days ago and I got I lost one of my subscribers, a person that was often made nice comments on my videos. And then when I posted that short, they said, well, you reviewed that Trump beer. You like Trump. Good luck with your videos. I'm gone. You know, basically, I'm just paraphrasing. And that's what the world's come to these days. What are you going to do, you know? This was a gift from Marcel. I love the can. And I might as well just come out of the closet and admit it. I like Trump. I'm sorry. Things were better when Trump was president. Now, I don't want to make my channel all about politics or really about politics at all. It's about the beer. <clears throat> but when you have a, one of these, what are you going to do? You can't not talk about it. That's like it's a it's a novelty beer. Uh, it's political, obviously. Um, and it is what it is. If if my reviewing this beer is going to offend you. If you have to go find a safe space somewhere, or maybe seek psychiatric, psychiatric, psychiatric help, <laughs> then don't watch, okay? Don't subscribe, unsubscribe, leave. You know, uh, I am what I am. I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm not going to tiptoe around the minefield. I like Trump. Things were better when Trump was president. If you have another opinion, that's fine. All right? But I'm not changing mine to suit anybody else. It is what it is. If all of my subscribers leave because I like Trump, then goodbye, okay? I'm not changing my opinion for nobody. I love this beer. Well, I love the can. I can't say as I love the beer. We're going to open this beer up and try it. Well, retry it. I had I did a short. I already know what it's like, but we're gonna do it again. Here we go. This is my last can of Trump Revenge beer. I don't even like the name of the beer because I don't think Trump is out for revenge. I really don't. I think he's an American citizen that loves his country and he wants the country to do well and he sees it going to shit as I see it going to shit and he wants to do something about it that's my opinion all right it's a good looking beer and another person made a comment on my short that said does it taste like treason what does treason taste like and no it doesn't taste like treason if it tasted like treason, if that was a thing, they would have to put Joe Biden's face on the can. He's the guy that opened up the border and let 10 million freaking people walk in. He's the one that ruined the economy. All right, let's check the beer out. That's enough politics. I'm afraid to say that the beer is rather ordinary. Of course, I just tried the head. I gotta pretend like this is the first time I ever had it. Cheers. Ah. It's refreshing. It's nice. But it is rather ordinary. And I know Trump, I don't think Trump had anything to do with the creation of this beer because Trump doesn't drink. He doesn't drink alcohol of any kind. If I have a problem with Trump, that might be the one thing. I'd like to have a beer with him, to be honest with you. Donald Trump, if you ever see this video, I invite you to my house and I will buy you a beer. But I know you don't want to come here. And I know you don't want a beer, but it's a nice wish. It's a nice beer. It's not, despite having a good head, it's not really all that carbonated. 
It doesn't taste carbonated, a little bit flat. You know, I was driving my school bus today, all day, I was thinking, what am I going to say on this Trump beer video? What am I going to say? Well, I've said it all. That's enough. Uh, let's see. My paper blew on the ground. Untap gives it a 3.52. I think that's probably pretty close to what it should be. It's a 4.8% ABV. I don't remember if I said that. Um, on the can it says, not an endorsement, not endorsed by any political candidate or party. Likewise, a donation by ultra-right beer to a person is not intended to imply an endorsement by the beneficiary. 10% of sales will be donated to the uh, GA, that's Georgia GOP Legal Defense Fund and David Schaefer Legal Defense Fund. Uh, Excuse me, to defend George's Trump electors against unjust political prosecution. Limited edition, obviously. Shoot, you know what? I was going to open this can from the bottom and I just, thinking about what I was going to say, I just totally forgot. But I have two of these. They're both open from the top. Um... I think I'm going to give it a 3.5 to match the untapped rating. It's brewed by Ultra Bright Beer Company in Lakeland, Florida. And I think that's it. It goes down easy. It really does. But it's nothing really special. And I'm going to say thanks for watching. And whatever your political opinion is, I don't care. Everybody has their own opinions. And it's a beautiful day. And I'm going to say goodbye.